Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup. Today, we're diving into the dramatic legal saga of Jesse Smollett. The Illinois Supreme Court has overturned his conviction, marking a pivotal moment in the actor's years-long battle with the justice system. Let's break it all down. The constitutional ruling, the case's history, and what happens next. Stay tuned. It's about to get intense. Let's rewind to January 2019. Smollett claimed he was the victim of a racially and homophobically motivated attack in Chicago. But soon after, police turned their focus to him, alleging he staged the attack with the help of two brothers, Abel and Ola Osandero. Smollett was charged with filing a false police report and later convicted in 2021 of disorderly conduct, receiving a sentence of 150 days in jail. He served only six days while appealing the conviction. Fast forward to November 2024 the Illinois Supreme Court ruled that Smollett's constitutional rights were violated when he was prosecuted a second time after the original charges were dropped in 2019. Why? His defense argued, and the court agreed, that retrying him violated the Fifth Amendment's protection against double jeopardy. Essentially, once a deal is made between a defendant and prosecutors, it must be honored. Justice Elizabeth Rochford's ruling emphasized this, stating, a bargain is a bargain. This ruling doesn't mean Smollett was found innocent. It means the way the prosecution handled the case violated due process. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb strongly disagreed, saying the ruling doesn't negate the overwhelming evidence presented against Smollett. Meanwhile, Smollett's attorney, Nenya Uche, celebrated the decision, calling the second prosecution a travesty of justice. But this isn't the end of the story. The city of Chicago is still pursuing a civil lawsuit against Smollett to recover $130,000 spent on the police investigation. Smollett, in turn, has countersued, claiming malicious prosecution. So stay tuned. This legal drama is far from over. Let's not forget the infamous courtroom moment when Smollett shouted, I am not suicidal, as he was taken into custody. This case has sparked debates about justice, public opinion, and celebrity influence in the legal system. As Smollett said in a recent interview, no matter how much people yell, I'm not a liar, but public trust in his story remains divided. So what's your take on this legal twist? Is the Supreme Court's ruling a victory for due process, or does it leave too many questions unanswered? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more deep dives into the hottest celebrity stories. Thanks for watching the Red Carpet Reup, and we'll see you next time.